So you're stuck. You're not quite sure when you got stuck, but you're stuck. Now that you look back on it, you realize it's been happening little by little over time. Were you naive? Yes. Maybe a little bit stupid. Yeah. You were in love, so you just kind of dropped your boundaries. You let him convince you to quit your job and stay at home, take care of two or three kids. He said you could go back to school, you know, in a few years when the kids got old enough. But between the both of you, you've only got one car. And, you know, he does pay the bills, so he kind of needs that to get back and forth to work every day. Besides, he said he doesn't want anybody watching his kid anyway. I probably won't even be able to take my kid to class anyway, so I'll just wait a few years and I'll go get my education then. When I asked when we can get another car, he said we couldn't afford one. I mean, yeah, he parties on the weekends, you know, and he always has time to go hang out with his friends and they go on boys trips even. And he always has something to smoke. But since I don't pay any bills and, you know, I'm not really bringing any money in right now, I just kind of go along with it. I don't feel like arguing. Does this sound familiar to you? My inbox is literally filled with women coming to me with some variation of that story. They're stuck at home with no money, no resources, no car, no childcare. They've been promised some form of independence, you know, before they laid all of that stuff on the line. You know, in a few years, we'll get you a new car or in a few years, you can go back to school or just stay home with the kids for a certain amount of time. And then after that, you know, we're going to start working on you and your career and your dreams. But the problem is the goalpost just keeps moving. And before you know it, you're stuck. The sad part about it is, is that you don't really start to realize how stuck you are until the mask falls off. Things are becoming increasingly disrespectful, maybe even violent. As a woman who have been in these types of situations before, who have had to leave with two, three kids, what would I do? What have I done in order to overcome this situation, gain my independence back, and eventually leave? Comment on this video if you'd like for me to tell my story.